guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl jade and i just woke up as you can see i'm still in bed actually i woke up and i realized tomorrow is my son's birthday you guys yeah i have my fan on i don't sleep without a fan i sleep in the fan how do i say i sleep with my fan on i can't sleep if it's hot so yeah don't mind the noise actually I'm not planning on having a party, you know. My daughter didn't have a first birthday party. Well, we planned it, but it didn't come as how it was planned. It didn't work out, which I also understand. And we're not planning on having a party for Howard as well. Because, um, I mean, he doesn't have friends. He's going to be a one-year-old. He is a baby. He's still a baby. He doesn't have friends. He, I will say, he only has a cousin, my actually my cousin's little boy is the only one that is plus one is close to his age and then my friend tracy's son which is my godson him he's about two years i think yeah he's gonna turn two years now and that's basically the rest are uh, my daughter's friends the girls she has tons of friends yeah she has a lot of friends you guys i have a mark here on my nose you know what i live in an abusive house I live in a very abusive house, you guys. I'm very, very abused. Shout out to all boy moms out there that are raising boy sons, you guys. I know it isn't easy. I, I'm not complaining, but I, it's not easy. <laughs> Howard gave me this thing. Independence weekend, we traveled to Windhoek, and um, this boy woke up early and scratch mommy's nose like i was asleep i was tired you know whenever we go to window it's life it's cool it's nice so we sleep late normally so he woke up early he wanted us to wake up too and we're still asleep he scratched me you couldn't see the scar before but like let's say three four days after we came back i saw a mark there but whenever i would bath i would feel the burning sensation let me say like three days ago now also he scratched me right here on my neck he did scratch me on my neck and it looked like a little hickey <laughs> but yeah that's how abusive my son is he's really abusive what should i do what can i do what can one do what could a mommy do please let me know guys okay i may do a little vlogy kind of thing as i've mentioned before we are not planning on having a party for him i woke up and i'm thinking of maybe baking a cake for him so he can just like cut a cake and like eat mess up into it you know with covid now people hardly um have parties like i mean who's trying to entertain anybody right now we're trying to save money as much as we can we are trying to stay safe and we are not trying to like associate with a lot and different type of people so we hardly do parties these days so i would say i'm gonna bake for him a cake now i'm gonna do his hair you guys are gonna see how i'm gonna trim cut his hair maybe just trim because he already had a haircut his first first haircut on our trip to winter by he's like close friend family guy he i'll leave his contact details below also he did a very good job i'll see if i can insert some pictures of his haircut on this video as well so you guys can just see what i'm talking about with his contact details so if you have small babies little boys that needs to go have their haircut please contact kinan he is very very good and actually not that i would say he's very very good the caring that comes from him he is a very loving soul he is a cool guy he's very very nice and gentle so that is actually what i love about kinan but he also works you guys so you need to like ask him like a little bit up front and see what time suits you best and then yeah so i don't have money i really don't have money to spend i don't have money to pay for parties and fancy uh, jumping castles and things for now plus i know he's not gonna enjoy any of that he's still a baby we will see about it next year and maybe throw him a big party as i did with my daughter so right now i'm just gonna bake him a cake and then maybe buy some balloons his sister hazel said we must do a superman theme for him so guys where in Ochibrango do i find a superman costume maybe we might just as well make a diy with his old clothes that he has at home rather than go spend extra money on 
things that we know he won't be wearing for long so and plus there isn't a party you guys so we'll see maybe we'll invite few of hazel's friends that if they're available i mean who wants to come to a little baby boy's a party so guys if you want to see how this vlog thing is gonna go for my first time you guys i apologize up front i don't do vlogs i haven't done vlogs yet but we are gonna do vlogs more and more and more vlogs from now on you're exercising i do go down do we okay. yes wow <laughs> Okay guys, um, I'm editing this video two days after the birthday party. Um, you may hear my voice a bit gone. It's because not that I had too much alcohol. I only had one bottle of wine, you guys. So it's actually from screaming and trying to get kids together, singing happy birthday, you know, that my voice is sounding a little bit like this. But yeah, here we are just trying to get ready and prep how it's hurt so i can start trimming him let me tell you you guys it's gonna be my very very first time to actually have that blade in my hand and trim i have never let me repeat i have never trimmed with a blade in my entire life so i don't even know i'm so scared i don't know how to hold that blade carefully and where this little baby that's moving up and down like this I just pray and hope that it's going to be a smooth process and that it's going to look pretty. I'm going to try my best. I'm holding it. I was just trying out now on my hand to see if I'm not cutting myself actually and if it's fine that it can actually just remove hair. And then after that, I actually drew a line where I'm going to trim so I can just have a clear idea of where the line is going to be like the trimming line i don't even know i just realized that i wasn't supposed to trim his head behind you guys i'm a mommy i am a now one year old boy mommy so it's my first boy that i'm trying to trim and learn how to actually have his hair neat and always every now and then have his hair cut until one day he probably decides that no i'm gonna have my hair cut by this at the salon and it came out pretty much beautiful, you guys. It wasn't bad. Um, I think I'm also trying to have his hair cut um, while he's asleep. I think in that way, it's a bit easier for me to actually have a staple hand if I could say so and have a perfect cut because he moves a lot he moves and I'm so scared that I'm gonna cut my little baby you guys so I tried like I did the behind early in the morning and then I did the behind during his afternoon nap so right now I'm busy with the front one I'm using the eco styling gel to like just lay his edges so that I can be able to see until when the hair is long and then 
draw a line and I go back in with a plate and voila you guys as squeaky clean as possible. Finish is a little cutie pie. I tried. What are you doing? And happy birthday, Howard! It's the next morning, you guys. It's officially Howard's birthday, and this is Howard's Oma calling and wishing him happy birthday, singing happy birthday for him, wishing all the good blessings to happen. And you know what, guys? When you wake up and you know you have this Oma's little kids with you, be aware. You gotta be with your phone in the morning because she's gonna wake you up and she does it with us as well you guys she calls me at 12 a.m in the morning on my birthday and i'm forever asleep you guys who does that i mean who does that she's the sweetheart she's just the sweetest Hello, you baby. You guys, he is one year old. He started walking already at the age of eight months. But this boy just finally got to love his walker. He never wanted to sit into the thing before. He walked actually without using this thing. Okay, so guys, this is what we have achieved so far. Number H and T has a problem. I don't know. It's just losing some air. But so far, this is what we have accomplished. I'm quickly going to drive to town, buy some, some more blue balloons and more yellow and make the exact same thing that I did there on the other side. That's it, guys. I'm not going to have a massive thing going on here. I'm actually also just doing this so that they can... What is it, Papa? You guys, um, I don't know how people do this vlogging thing, but honestly, it's so hard. I don't know. I failed to uh, record in the shops. I mean, yo, give credit to people that can vlog, you guys. I give credit to people who can actually do the proper vloggings and stuff. Because I'm not good at it, guys. But then, yeah, we got almost everything we needed for the little setup. We just could not get the balloon number one. It's totally out of Ojirango. I cannot find it in any shop. I have searched in Crazy Store. I have checked in uh, Blastilon. I have checked in Fab Home. All the China shops you can possibly find here. They told me go check at Spa. I did that. Shop right. My goodness, there isn't anything. There is actually at Crazy Store, there was one uh, like it's in a rose gold. And I mean, for a boy, I wouldn't want to have a rose gold thing while I'm having like blue, yellow, and a red theme. It just doesn't make sense. So I did leave that. I'm just gonna pick out what I can do with the number one. Maybe we might just leave it because it's not a big thing as I've said before. Guys, it's not easy. I'll show you guys few extra snacks I topped up. It's far shop right. So you guys can just see what I got and how I'm gonna do the whole setup thing, yeah. But yo, oh, it's maybe because I'm with baby. That I don't know how to vlog because I need to look after my kids. I mean, I cannot be vlogging and totally forget about my kids. And I didn't bring a stroller for Howard to sit in and he fell asleep. Actually, right now he's sleeping. So it was so complicated. It is hard, you guys. So yeah, we are headed back home. <laughs> Look 
had somebody fall asleep in the back of the car because they wanted to come with and they can't keep up with mommy. The cake is reading happy birthday, Howard. Not happy birthday, super Howard, because he's a superman. He's a little superman, you guys. And then I just have that happy birthday sign. Two of the balloons have some air releasing. I don't know what the problem was. And then this little guy's got to get ready now. Okay, you guys. That's it. That's it. I just made a pool pumped up here and put a few toys here. We're still going to get um, his box out and put more in here. This is now where the boys are going to have some little pictures. Superman themed pictures, you know. And um, yeah, this is what I got from Spa and ShopRite. The little snakes that I got from Spa and ShopRite. And then I baked the cake. As you all know, I did the cake. I made some oros here, oro crush, oros for the kids. Um, I think. Hey! Mouse! Hey, so mouse can dance, you guys! Hey! Yay! I do to speak, no fit to resonate, I'm on a different frequency. Uh -huh. I don't think it's necessary. I'll be done with just somebody that could do like me. When I be like a salad coming off the right wing, I got to your different ideas. Finesse, I need to see me on my snack. I drank it. 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 Boy. Why check Papa? He's wondering Boy. what the is this? 